Hi guys, so you join me here at Lindholm today and we're actually on Willows Lake and this session is going to be all about short pole fishing. It's a devastating method and one that I always start on, on a commercial. The reason being, there's normally a few mugfish there, so you go out straight away and you can usually catch a quick couple of fish to get you going. But while you're doing this, you can also have a look around, see what other anglers are doing. And if they're piling bait in and not getting a response, you know that's not the option to go down. But obviously, if they are getting a response, you know that they're responding to a bit of bait. So it's a good, good method to start on, gives you that bit of time to feel your way in, get to see how the session's gonna plan out, and hopefully we'll catch a few fish. I'm gonna run you through it today. Let's get on box. Right guys, so I'm just about to start my session now. Literally fishing a 4 mil Pro Expander. And then I'm gonna start by feeding a little ball of fishery micros. So the reason I like to feed a ball is because it goes straight to the bottom. And if you're feeding loose pellets, sometimes it can bring fish, especially as it's got warmer, up off the bottom and you start to get a lot of false bites and indications. Whereas we want them all pinned down at bottom, because that's where we plan on catching them. I'll just turn that over, let me float settle. Put the ball in right over the top of my float, and hopefully won't have to wait too long for a bite. So the bit that I've actually brought with me today, I brought some 4 and 6 mil Pro Expanders. Brought a tin of F1 corn, it's lovely is this bit nice visual obviously still in spring so claret is still not fully back into water yet so it's nice and visible oh fish there straight away nice little bite and it smells gorgeous as well I'll just get this fish in then i'll run you through what pellets i'm fishing and how i prepare them a nice one. Nice start. Look at that. Like chunky fish these are. So literally just gonna repeat the process. Fish a four mil. Make a little ball, literally just quite sticky these, so just a couple of pinches. It's got some boost, bait boost on it as well, which also makes them a bit sticky. So I'll ship out. So yeah, as I was saying, the fee pellets that I'm using are fishery micros and four mils. So it's fishery pellets only here at Lindome. So got a couple of bags. And as you can see here, I've put three quarters of a pint of micros into a tub and then I've added literally a handful of four mils. So to this I've added some Banoffee Bait Boost to mix it around in water and then just levelled it off. So my thinking behind using the micros and four mils is that it looks like what I'm trying to imitate basically. So it looks like micros with an expander in the middle. That's how I like to look at it anyway. I know Obviously everybody's got their own opinions, but I like some four mils in my micros basically, and that's what I like to feed. So I'll just drop that back in and go again. So you can see we're fishing short pole. So here I've plumbed up, top kit and free out, and it's just where it levels off. So when you start your session, when you're plumbing around, it's good to look for bottom of shelf, which is anywhere from the top kit and two, top kit and three, just where it levels out, that's where I'd look to put the bait. Obviously, we're fishing open water here and there's not any features such as an island to fish to. So the main features are the margins and the bottom of the close shelf. Everywhere else is just usually flat. Obviously, if we were fishing to an island, that would be as main feature in the peg and that's where fish would like to patrol. Let's just have a plumb around and find where it levels out. Had a couple of indications there since I put that second little ball in, so I'll just hold hold that still and go again. Lovely weather for it. 
nice, nice and warm. It's obviously, spring has definitely sprung now. It's definitely warming up. Obviously it's bright sunshine today. Probably won't help. Fish prefer it obviously when it's overcast and got a bit of a ripple. So with it being bright sunshine and flat calm, as much as I like it like this, cause it's easy to see me float and nice to present a rig. It's not always best conditions to fish in. Any minute now and we should get another bite. Obviously we got that one really quick, the first one to be honest. Thought we'd have to wait a little bit longer than that for a bite. Sometimes it's good just to, oh, <laughs> I'm going to say lift and drop your bait just to entice one on, but that must have just been sat there with it in its mouth. Nice little one. Look at that. See its bottom lip. Put him back. See if we can get one more. And then I'll run you through my rig. So one of the main reasons why we like to start short is so we can see what's going on around us. Obviously it gives us a good opportunity, starting here, catching a couple of fish, look around and if guy over there is catching shallow we know to start priming a, a shallow line as that's where the fish want to feed. But say if mate next to him's potted in a big pot and not having any indications or any signs, it means that we stay away from that. So just, you don't have to obviously follow, but it's good as a guidance to know that if they're doing that and catching, that's how the fish want to feed. But whatever you're catching on this line, I'd always stay just catching fish. That's the main, main thing you want to be doing. But there's no harm why you can't be flicking a few pellets past, bringing them shallow ready. So when this dies, literally ship out. Because you've been feeding long, fish will be there and longer you leave them without catching them, it's always the case where it, you, they're easier to catch. We've got the confidence up, there's no baits going in there, the mates are there eating as well, so it's just good just to keep an eye on what's going on around you. Hopefully we'll catch one more and then I'll give you a run fruit rig. Tiny little indication that one was. Hold him up for you. It's got a nice golden colour in. Spat look out itself. <laughs> Get him back. Put the rig up. Hook it up, and then I'll give you a run through. So we'll start at this top end, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but we'll get a close up. That's my little fruit shoot lid, the toss pot. Comes down. Got the seven hybrid slip. Number eight back shot. Then to that I've got a 4B12 F1 pellet. 
them all down and I've just got a strung out bulk of number 10s. Obviously we're trying to get pellets on the bottom, we're not catching them through the water like we do maggots or anything like that, so we want it positive straight down. To that I've got a pre-tied SFL, so that's a 011-16, perfect for this time of year, and that's it. You can see here I've actually marked the depth of my rig, so if I were to like, need to go an inch further on or change depth or anything, or if the float moves, I can just put it back up and make sure I like to mark the top and bottom of the float, and that's it. There you go guys, thought you picked up a few tips along the way and enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and I'll bring you plenty more. <laughs>